there's a relatively new networking standard called broadband over power line. The idea being that almost every dwelling, every house, many different connections that you would make to almost anything requires power. There's a power run going right into your home. So why not use that particular cable to also transmit radio signals down that you could then use to network devices? You might want to use this, for instance, in very, very remote locations to provide internet connectivity that normally you'd have no way to do using cable modem or even DSL technology. We'll just simply use the power line connections going into that remote location. Sometimes you can see this used for home automation. You can use these broadband or networking over power line plugs in your home to control lights and to control other systems that you might have inside of a single house. The thing to keep in mind is that broadband over power line is using radio communication. And you might be only using some low frequency use that's only within a home, or you might be using high frequencies that might go over very long distances over those power lines. All of them may be using this very standardized broadband over power line standard. It just depends on what your requirements are to be able to network those different locations. The IEEE standard for broadband over power line is IEEE 1901, and this is based on a standard called Home Plug AV. So if you're looking at devices to purchase for this, you'll see that IEEE on there, but you'll most commonly see this Home Plug name. It's something that everybody can remember a lot easier than IEEE 1901. There are different types of speeds that are used. One example of this is a low speed, which uses a very narrow band between 15 to 500 kilometers. So this is a very low frequency to use, and it's very often used for the, the company that's providing you with the power to read your meter without them having to visit your house. It used to be everyone would visit your home and read your meter that's on the outside. But today, the meters are all digital, and they can use this BPL, Broadband Over Power Line Networking Technology, at these low frequencies to read exactly what's on the meter that's right outside your house. Another type of speed is a medium speed BPL, and this goes anywhere from 9 to 500 kilohertz, again, using those lower frequencies. But notice the speeds of this are 576 kilobits per second. In some cases, that's better than some people have with their DSL connection. And as long as you don't have any problems with the power connections from one side to the other or any interference on that connection, then you can probably send data over the internet and get a pretty good response time from that. There are other standards as well that can even go up to very high frequencies over this broadband over power line. It just depends on the type of implementation you might be using in your environment. A significant concern about broadband over power line is interference. When we're sending these radio signals over power, they have a tendency to get out of the power line. And if you're trying to communicate using some of these frequencies, especially amateur radio operators, they can run into problems. If there is a flood, if there's an earthquake, if there's a need to have emergency communication, and somewhere in the country there happens to be broadband over power line that is not configured properly or that's having a problem, it could interfere with those types of communications. So we're having different types of agencies look into broadband over power line. There is an increasing amount of scrutiny and control to be able to make sure that if there are problems with these broadband over power line, that they're able to address those issues and minimize any type of interference you might run into.